Hi folks, I've just given us a couple of good wets. This is a piece of the uh, 130 pound Fabriano, which I have a number of sheets left. So I'm going to use up all my paper, my this silly paper, before I buy some more. Oh, okay. Before we decide what we're going to do, we'll uh, put in a bit of sky, uh, a bit burnt sienna, I think. Dirty, too dirty. Give that a bit of a clean. I want to get a bit of burnt sienna and a bit, bit of light red. See the difference between this paper and the Saunders or the better quality papers. This is a studio paper, so it's what it is. Can't grumble. It's uh, inexpensive for what you, for the amount you get. Right, so a bit of bit of yellow in there. Bit of more orange. Now, looking at the sky earlier, I always look at the sky just to see what I can work from, a bit of reference material, so a bit of Right, now we'll make some shadow for cloud. Not really too too wet now because there's plenty of water on the paper. Now that's more like it. Right. I so take your take your clouds off of the uh, paper. A bit dark. Then we'll uh, and we'll leave that alone. I'm going to dry it now. So take your headphones off or fast forward. Then I'll reclip the paper. Ready? Go. Okay, <coughs> now this paper, it's, it's very good for some things, or well, one thing, is that it lifts out very well, but it's very easy to, to go muddy, now that's sort of shrunk nicely, so let's just pull it tight, get it nice and flat, and it should be alright now. Now what are we going to do now? Uh, uh, Bit of a pond, maybe. Right, so uh, we're putting a bit of background. I'll use the colours that's on the palette. Uh, we'll uh, go up. If I go, up, hmm, go about there. Right, 
Seven Islands, Mitch and Common, that's, that's a nice, always a, a nice one to, to, to muck about with. It's quite a rough paper, it's very textured. I would recommend it, I, I, it's just that it, it um, doesn't soak soak up the uh, the water like the uh, the quality papers like these well I have been using the 90 pound Saunders rough this I think it's the sizing on the on the paper itself that that allows the, the paint to soak in now this is the edge of the Waters now, be careful because I, I tend to go uphill because I don't really draw horizons before I do all this. Try and leave a bit of air in the uh, trees and the distance. So I'm going to go up in front of these and I will do a bit of drying. Well, that's more or less horizontal. If you get to the end and, and, and you found that it's uh, not good, you, you can always tilt it in the frame or in the, uh, the mount if you put it in a mount. So that's our back. Now I'll do a bit of, bit of uh, foreground while that dries off. I'm going to put some heavier stuff there, some greens and well maybe some darker blues. Now I'll bring the bring the clips down a bit to there because I want to put some of that sky in the water. A bit of dry brush. I can lift out some of that with a dry, with a, a damp brush. Right now, we'll put in a. Well, I'll dry it off a bit, and uh, I'll put a beach in and. Like the edge of the, of the lake. My headphones off. Go. Okay. Let's try it. Now a bit of bit of bit of dry brush, bit of umber, burnt umber, bit of uh, raw sienna, bit of panes, and Just a little bit of bit of uh, stuff I can put in there. Right, let that dry off a bit. I'm going to use a smaller brush now. Use the the, the medium hake. Still damp from yesterday. Right now we're we'll putting some paint grey and some ultramarine. A bit of water on the brush. Now, if you're using a hake and you're new to it, don't press too hard. Just let the brush dance around. It's 
bit too much water in that. I want it blue, but I want it blue grey. Might put a bit of green over that. This brush makes sort of patterns that I don't really like. It's not the brush, it's me. Right, let's go in a bit of green now, a bit of, bit of yellow and a bit of Payne's grey. A lot of uh, yellow in that. Bit of burnt sienna. It's probably going to make mud now. It behaves totally different to the uh, to the Saunders or the or the Windsor and Newton that we were using before it ran out. Right, okay, now I want to put a bit of a beach in there, sort of a raw sienna. Always have a cloth. I've got a cloth, folded cloth towel, just in front of my water pot, so I can take off excess moisture. I think that's a bit muddy, but... Alright, let's uh, get a card and just scrape out a little bit of this. Right, we've got some a uh, bit of filigree in this. Bit overdone, but I'm carving through dry paper here, dry paint. Right, uh, that's sort of dry now, so we're putting a bit of texture in that bit. Uh, texture, bit of panes, bit of burnt sienna. Pebbles. Well, a shingle here. On the, uh, the, the Mitcham Common itself, Mitcham Seven Islands. It's very popular. It's lovely. But it's it's uh, the base of a big hill from landfill from a motorway, the, the ring road around London, the magic roundabout we call it, or, or the roundabout from hell. Got a crash on there and it's, it's mucks all the traffic up for miles. Okay, now we're putting a little bit of grass in there. Oh, that's too bad. It's a bit heavy here, but never mind. All right. Um, maybe I'll put a bit of an island in. Yeah, well, that's. Uh, 
it's a small lake with some very small islands on it, but it's a lovely spot. Love it to bits. No, no, no parking nearby. You have to walk or get a bus or cycle. Right, let's get some uh, bit of this, bit of this up here. Cover, cover over that. All right, I'm going to put some uh, stuff over that. There's some dark shadowy colour in it. Right, I'll give that a dry. So, headphones off, go. Get these chunks on here, and I can do a bit of reflection with these. Now the light coming from there, so I'm going to put a bit of a bit of dark on this side. All right, so I'll put in some reflections there, and I'll put a little bit here. That no, one. Just dry that off, and use the rigger. This is just basically burnt sienna and uh, paints grey. Alright, let's uh, do that. 
do something else I think we'll uh, come up here from a see that it's very tree tree lined all this a bit of a greeny greeny colour for this so I've done one of these for years. Well, since I've been using the the other stuff. So just a little bit more um, with the rigor there. Uh, Right, a bit of dry brush now. Let's get a bit of bit of light, bit of raw sienna on the too much water. Gotta be careful with the water content. A little bit of dust burn. Dark over here because it's shadow more shadow. I think I might do better uh, putting some stipple on that. I just dry that off. So headphones. No. I've got a quite a little stipple brushes from Frank Clark's riggers, I uh, love uh, a small hake, but it does work very well what it did on the other paper. Let's get a clean bit of rag. Uh, just, I'm just going to break up the, uh, the brush into a lot of points. Should have done that in the first place, I forgot. Just some autumn leaves. I 
for some of that on there. All right, let's have some of that in there. All some leaves on the floor. All right, now I'm going to put a bit of more filigree in that tree on the left. Quite happy with that. That's that's okay. So that's just. We should try it, so headphones, there we go. I don't spend a lot of time on these, probably about 25 minutes would probably be the average. Some of that bit thick, thicker. Right, I don't think that's too bad. It's not about the best one I've done for a few days, but. Right, that's, uh, I'm going to just uh, took. Uh, we're getting some light, some sunlight. Show you something right now. Close that one. Open this one. It's better. I'm going to do something about that in a bit. Sort of bird him while I'm at it. Sorry, but I've got the dark brush here. Right, now, a bit of tissue. That's got a bit of sienna on it. Just a bit of wind ruffle. Right, okay, what do I do? I was going to put a bit of that reflection, but I haven't got the reflection there, so I'm not going to put it in anywhere else. I want to do some some grasses, and there's a little bit of reflection. So green. Darkish green.
uh, that just gives that impression of of some grasses coming down. So a little bit over here. Well, what you put above, just drag, drag down. I think I need just to strengthen up those. Okay, I'll put it in the mount. As I say, it's not one of my best better ones. But when you, when you put a mount on it, it uh, adds 50%. Raise the camera up a bit. Now, I just wonder if a bit of gouache would, would go on this on this. Well, there's my palette. I still have my little pile of gouache there. That's a uh, Where that's lost a bit in there, I'll just put a little bit of a bit of light catching. Right, I'm not going to do any more than that. It's a demonstration and uh, encourage you to not give up with the cheap, pay cheaper papers. I can't remember what it costs. It used to be, when the last bought some, probably about a year ago, about £11 for a packet of uh, for 100 sheets. No, 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 it wouldn't be 100 sheets, it would be 50. But if you bought... Forty pounds worth, or whatever it is, thirty pounds worth. You'll get the free postage, but it's inexpensive compared to the uh, Saunders Waterford. Anyway, I hope you like that one. Thanks for looking, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.